Depending on who you are, one of the scariest things about college can be moving away. But then again, I couldn't wait to leave home. Drury has three residence halls for freshmen and four apartment style options for upperclassmen. Let's start right at the end of Drury Lane. Wallace Hall is one of the most recognizable buildings on campus. Recently renovated, it has a classic feel but still has all the modern features. You'll have a roommate so you'll share a room. This is what they look like. Here's the bathroom. Nice, right? I knew the bathroom was important to you. Next door to the right, tucked under the shade of several of our trees, by the way, we're a tree farm if you didn't know that, is Smith Hall. Smith has been around since 1967. Like Wallace, you'll have a roommate and share a bathroom. Here's a look at where you'll be sleeping. One of the perks about Smith is the extra closet space in your bathroom. It's got room for all of your shoes. There, there's usually more than one pair. Smith is also the only residence hall on campus with a community kitchen, so if you get the midnight munchies, you might make some new friends down here. Or some ramen noodles, whichever you prefer. Next, let's take you to our newest freshman residence hall, Sunderland, but let's start outside first. Right out in front of the building is Sunderland Field. It's a huge green space that's home to many of our intramural sports, outdoor concerts, and firework displays. When none of that is happening, you can almost always find people out here playing frisbee or soaking up the sun. Now, Sunderland is a lot different than Wallace and Smith. For starters, besides being slightly more modern, the rooms are organized in suites with four private bedrooms and two bathrooms. Meaning, yes, you'll have your own bedroom, but you'll still share a bathroom. Each suite has a microwave and a mini fridge. These really come in handy during finals week. Usually there's stuff in it. As a freshman at Jury, you'll also have the option of being a part of something called a living learning community, where you'll actually live with other students who share your academic interests. And if you are a part of a living learning community, Sunderland is where you'll be. After your freshman year, you have the option to live in some different apartment style housing on campus, like College Park or University Suites. These are generally a little more private, a little bit nicer, and highly sought after. There are also some academic themed housing options for upperclassmen, like the Foreign Languages House or the Humanities House. Just remember, no matter where you choose to live here, you're going to be a part of campus life. It's not the buildings that matter, it's the people. Jury isn't just a place to live, it's home.